one of all, Frank. I really love Paris at Christmas time. <laughs> How old do you think Santa Claus is? <laughs> you know, Frank, you should really offer him a nip and tuck job. <laughs> Dr. Flamand. Yes? Do you remember me, doctor? Not really. So, you've lost your memory, too. You operated on me a year ago. You can see the results now for yourself. Frank, let's forget it. It was my only failure. Really? Well, I've got a surprise for you. I'm a monster, aren't I? Of course you're not. You're still very beautiful. Beautiful? <sighs> Give me a mirror. If you want, but why? Try to hurt yourself. Please. Hurry up and throw your head back when you... 
your wall. Tootsie! Tootsie! Brush your hair again. My hair is just like a mop. Oh, so you girls, if I weren't here, you'd look like washerwomen. Oh, so Barbara! Barbara, come on, sweetie. Come on, get ready. And don't forget the watch. What? what? Love you. Oh. Oh, I don't know what you want to do, my word. Oh, it's too hot in here. Put the fan on. Oh. Hi, have you got any? Yeah, in the car. Follow me. Come on, where is it? the hell is Barbara? Why, she's gone out. <laughs> gone out? But where's the little bitch gone out to? I don't know. She left with a blonde. She's crazy. She takes off in the middle of a shoot with one of the most expensive jewels in the world. <laughs> she's gonna kill me. Sherman, come on now. I'll take you back to your room. What if I don't want to? Just what are you doing here? Spying? You'll know soon enough. Come now, Mrs. Sherman. Something weird's going on around here. She'll be perfect for what you have in mind. She's still very beautiful. Don't you think so? Yes, darling. Is she on drugs? Apparently not. You can bleed her right down to the very last drop. Oh, please, put me out. Me After that, finish her off. I need her blood to complete the Baroness's cure. Then please let me have her tonight. If you promise to be very nice to me. Perfect. She is perfect. To remake the face. 
Eyes of Ingrid. It's as if I'm 20 years younger. What is the secret of this miracle? The capsules I gave you contain hormones, glands, and bone marrow from virgins sacrificed at night by me when the moon is full. <laughs> and you can believe me, finding a virgin these days in Paris it's getting harder and harder. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Doctor, you are really a genius. Take care, Madame Francois. <laughs> and don't forget, your body is a temple. Come in. Good morning, Madame La Baronne. How do you feel this morning? Oh, fine. Your clinic is like a paradise on earth. Thank you. Your compliments go straight to my heart. Although my patients rarely admit it, they're content. Please excuse me now. I must leave. See you tomorrow. Doctor, how old is the Baroness? I don't know, but she looks much older. <laughs> You are beautiful. You're going to be more beautiful after the treatment. You're going to be the most beautiful Valkyrie in the world. Oh, dear doctor. You make my head swim. Martha! Martha! Du verschwindest da unten mit dir. Mein ganzes Geld. Und mein ganzes so, you're a magician. Congratulations. Why? Don't you agree with Madame Francois? I hate you. Come on. You know very well it's not true. <laughs> I don't see you anymore. You just leave me in the hands of these clumsy nurses. They're so boring. In a few days, we'll take your bandages off. And in a few days, you leave us. And you'll go dancing again. You won't need my care anymore. I bet you could use mine. I know more about what's going on in this clinic than you do. What do you mean by that? I've been strapped down to this chair for two months now, and I've spent my time watching. I can't be any clearer. Come to my room as soon as possible. I want you to know certain things. I'm sure you'll find it rewarding. Are you blackmailing me? Absolutely. Don't listen to her, doctor. She's... Mad? Yes, mad. Mad about you. And she's not the only one. I will her to her room. Double the dose and make sure she takes it. Very well, doctor.
A man who looks like some kind of a young mafioso wishes to see you, Mr. Howland. He says his name is Sam Morgan. <laughs> All right, send him in. And uh, Miss Jenny Peabody, watch out for your women's intuition. He's not a gangster. He's a private eye. What's the difference? <laughs> Sam Morgan. <laughs> long time no see. You've come a long way since Saigon. Well, yeah, you know, after Saigon, I worked a lot. I mean, a hell of a lot. And then I came into an inheritance, you know, family tankers like that. You? No, 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 no. No more tobacco in my place. Quit two weeks ago. No more Coke either? <laughs> you haven't changed a lick. Big Mouth Morgan, always uh, the diplomat. Now look, Barbara had nothing to do with that drug deal. You know it as well as I do that she's innocent. Yeah, I know that. What's up, Terry? You hit another snag with your daughter? Whatever the snags are between me and my daughter, she's my daughter and my only daughter. And now she's missing. She's disappeared. Where from this time? Well, she went to Paris with Models International. She did a few photo sessions and then she just vanished into thin air and hasn't been back to the hotel now in a week. Kidnapping? No, 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 no ransom demands, no nothing. You talked to the Paris police? So they can't make heads or tails of it. And that's why I want you to go over there and bring her back. Here, a Brian Wallace. He's with the American Embassy in Paris. He will be in touch with you. Here, round trip Air France Concorde leaving at 11 a.m. $20,000 in advance and three times that amount if you bring back, bruh, back to me alive. You know, I'd do it for nothing, Terry. Now, look, a room has been booked for you at the Hotel Concorde Lafayette. That is Barbara's hotel. My secretary will give you my number, private number, and it's connected to an answering machine. Call 24 hours a day, day or night. Sam, you must bring her back to me, OK? No matter how much it costs. If you have to turn Paris upside down, even if you have to dirty your hands. Since Vietnam, the dirt doesn't show. Destination nowhere, a half mile to paradise. Tell me what you find there, beyond the sea of gold disguise. Three dimensions. Morgan, you have a room reserved for me? Yes, sir. Your reservation was made in New York. A room 274. Have a nice stay, Mr. Morgan. Still no news from Barbara Helen? No. The luggage is still in her room. Uh, here is her mail. Oh, let me have it. I'm sorry, sir, but her clients mail it. It's confidential. Sir, where do you think you are? You're in France, and... Ah, uh, sir, I forgot. Somebody's waiting for you. Merci. Sam Morgan. Brian Wallace, attaché at the American Embassy in Paris. Nice to see you. Terry Hallen told me about your arrival. You put together a report on Barbara Hallen? Oh, yes, I did. Well, actually, I got what the French cops were willing to give me, anyway. Here you go. Hey, before you check it out, I made an appointment for you. Something you should find very interesting. Why don't you follow me? Let's go. Here's your client, Chief. We found it yesterday morning in a dump in the suburbs. That makes three in two months. She got a piece missing. Yeah, I know. The head which makes identification a hell of a lot more difficult. But as for the board, I guess she doesn't care now. <laughs> what are you doing? 
It's not Barbara Helen. Are you sure? Positive. Barbara has a discreetly placed mole. <laughs> there. Should I tip him? It says in the guidebook you always tip in France. You know, Morgan. It is only because I got orders from upstairs after Mr. Wallace stepped in that I am giving you some of my time. We don't like your kind of people who chew gum and only take their hands out of their pockets to work over the suspect's face. You might take yourself a boogie, but you don't even have a trench coat or a hat. I'm not boogie, and you're not maigre, but I'll find Barbara. I'll bet she comes back by herself, just like she did last year, when she ran away from home with the gigolo. Wonderful. Another Inspector Clouseau. Madame Sherman. You tried to drug me last night. Does that mean you didn't take your medicine? Not a single drop. There's some odd things going on in this clinic. And I'm beginning to think you know about them. We'll talk about this later. This is urgent, Doctor. Urgent? Come to my room tonight. I try to be on time. This is your last chance, Doctor. Otherwise, you'll have a lot to explain to the police. Madame Sherman, what do you really know? Everything. Everything. Mrs. Sherman, again! I told you not to leave your room. I'm sorry, Doctor. See you tonight, Doctor. I was certain she was resting in her room. Please, Angela, keep an eye on her. She could be the one to bring your face back. Who is she? She's a model from the States. Ingrid, I need your trust and your patience. You must give me some more time. Time always passes too slowly for me. Please, Frank, before it's too late. I have a new solution. it won't work. Oh. Don't be silly. Oh. Even the greatest surgeons in the world didn't want to operate on me. Why doesn't he try himself? You've got to trust him. He's working on it. Oh. Is something bothering you? Uh, I can't operate on her. The only person who can help is... Uh, Professor Orloff. Orloff? Hello. I'm Dr. Flamont. Dr. Orloff is expecting you. Flamont, it's good to see you. Nice to see you. Would you please come along with me? A total face graft using the facial skin of a corpse cannot succeed with today's methods. Do sit down, please. It will be rejected 100%. Um, but in one of your articles you said... Yes, the fact is that I once observed a total face graft, but 
That was in Germany during the war. What's the difference, Professor? I said during the war, Mademoiselle. And war means all kinds of risks to be taken without having to answer to anyone. I'll never forget that pilot whose face was completely burned. And who performed the graft? A very young SS surgeon. It was in Dachau. Were you an SS surgeon's assistant? Rather his prisoner. What happened to him, actually? After the defeat of the Nazis, he managed to escape to Switzerland with the help of some religious organization. He was sentenced to death in abstentia at Nuremberg for experimenting on living human beings. He changed his name, his nationality, and now lives as free as a bird in Spain. His name now is Karl Moser. Do you think he would agree to give my sister a new face? If you offer him a lot of money, a new passport allowing him to return to Austria, and last but not least, the possibility to experiment on human beings again, why not? Where can I find Mr. Moser? If he accepts your offer, he'll be able to come here very quickly. I can handle it. Thank you. Professor, why haven't you ever operated since you returned from Germany? Skeletons in the closet are better left undisturbed, mademoiselle. My wife, 45 years ago, you met her at the door. My finest piece of work, my finest and my last. <laughs> Frank! She's been attacked. Gordon must have raped her. Oh, my God. The worst thing is that her skin is damaged. If Dr. Moser comes here too soon, he won't be able to use her skin. I'm going to punish him. Gordon, come here. <laughs> Hurry up. You've done it again, haven't you? 
You couldn't control yourself, you son of a bitch! I couldn't care less if you raped her or not, but you damaged her face! You brainless, dumb bastard. Go to Ingrid's room and do everything she wants. Go! Does he know we're watching? Of course. That's what she gets off on. Get Dr. Flamand immediately. I know he's at home. Yes, hello? Mrs. Sherman would like to speak to you. Okay, put her through. It's Mrs. Sherman who wants to speak with me. Hello, Mrs. Sherman. I want to see you. Right now. What in God's name do you want from me? I thought you were an honorable man, Doctor. A real scientist. I thought you were unaware of the atrocious crimes going on here. But now, I think you masterminded all these crimes. If you don't come right now, I'll call the police immediately. Calm down, Mrs. Sherman. I'll be right over. What can we do? She knows everything. She's very dangerous. Do you want me to take care of her? Yes. Go. Go. I don't want to hear another thing from her. Dr. Flamand? I was expecting Dr. Flamand. I know. Don't worry, he's coming soon. I've just come for your shot. What shot? I haven't had a shot for 15 days. Just relax. It's a new treatment. Everything will be all right. No, don't be afraid. No. I believe in reincarnation, <gasps> don't you? Mrs. Sherman, so unexpected. Uh, 
Let's go. And what have you heard from Dr. Moser? Is he really willing to come? When? Perfect. Thank you so much, Professor Orloff. Fantastic. Dr. Moser is arriving tomorrow night, and he wants to operate as soon as possible. We can't use Barbara. Well, then we have to have a find a quick substitute. Knowing your efficiency, it shouldn't be very difficult for you. Let's see. This one. Melissa. beforehand, so, uh, so much more romantic that way. Okay, all right, you'll come and pick me up at midnight. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that, Rashid? A whole night, it's probably an orgy. Pretty soon now, I will be able to buy you a new car. I feel pretty. I do, 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 do. Yeah. Ooh, oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. Sam Morgan, I'm here about Barbara. Really? Uh, please, <laughs> do come in. I told you on the phone, I don't want to hear any more about that girl. Thanks, don't mind if I do. If you're a cop, all you need to do is read the statement I made. No, I'm no cop. Then leave me alone. I'd like to get my hands on the bitch. Hey! Oh! Oh! Watch your mouth when oh. you talk about her. Oh! Now tell her from the top. Oh, oh, my shirt, my shirt from small toes. my beautiful shirt, he's out of his mind, start raving, oh. Oh. She, she vanished from the Hotel Cleo with abroad, with the most expensive piece of jewelry, Vacheron's Black Panther, it's, um, I, gold watch, set with diamonds and rubies, a real gem. Oh, Barbara, I can't believe it, I trusted her. Barbara doesn't need to steal. When you snort coke like she does, you never have enough dough. Now tell me, what about the broad she left with? You know her? Some dyed blonde, I never saw her before. What's more, Barbara changes uh, friends as often as I change shirts. So? <laughs> she fucks everybody. Nothing phases her. No color, no sex. So? <laughs> well, if you're the fiancé, sweetheart, you're gonna have trouble getting through the doorways in Paris. She's putting horns on you, bigger than any steer on those stinking ranches of yours, sweetheart. I'm not your sweetheart. Doo doo. Doo doo. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh. 
Oh, oh. oh do, do, please. Put this on the console. Dr. Fulmont, I thought I was going to spend a wild night. And here I am with the doctor who treated me last year. Oh, without your glasses, I recognize you. You're the head of the clinic. But you paid me for the night. Well, now I get it. Doctors are entitled to have a little fun, too. <laughs> no scar. No marks are left. You remember, I was so afraid I'd have it for my whole life. You were fantastic. What happened to the saddest who beat you up? Rashid? Well, now, we live together. Judging by your glowing appearance, he doesn't seem to be beating you anymore. Or else, it's good for you. You've suddenly blossomed. You've taught him to be a gentleman. By the looks of things, you're blossoming too. Now have fun. I have a surprise for you. A very special surprise. session and no one's seen her since. What about the French police? Oh, they're dancing with me. But I think I've got a lead. She left with a very expensive watch. Terry, Barbara's... Well, she's been whoring around in Paris. Good. What? Scandal mongers. They're easier to find. You shouldn't drink so much, darling. Karl Moser. Good evening. Uh, Dr. Flamand, please. Come in, he's expecting you. Thank you. Hans Moser. I'm very honored to meet you, and I'm very grateful to you. Uh, let us not waste time on compliments, please. May I introduce you to Natalie, my closest collaborator, and she runs the clinic. Delighted. May I see the patient now? Natalie, would you be so kind as to accompany Dr. Moser to Ingrid? Thank you. Oh, Coro. Duga. Heights. Very nice. Thank you. 
Here she is. Leave me alone with her. Hello. I am Dr. Moser. Oh. Hello, Doctor. We shall fix this. Soon it will be no more than a bad memory. I heard that before. <laughs> you must have confidence. It's the only way we'll succeed. You know, I always believed in myself. Thank you, Doctor. Give her back all her beauty. I promise you that. I've not returned to France since the war. You still have the best wines in the world. And uh, I raise my glass to our success. I've waited for so long to continue to work once more. You know, at the outset, some thought I was a, a kind of genius. Before working in Dachau, I spent several months at Auschwitz with Mengele. He did not believe in me. It was in Dachau that I met Orlov. With him, I pursued my experiments in order to show Mengele and the other upstart doctors from the Nazi party that I was the best. And uh, I would have. But uh, it was the end of the Third Reich. I had succeeded in making some total face transplants on burnt pilots. Orloff has told us about them. Oh, yes, but Orloff uh, wasn't a mystic then. He can play the wise man and the devout today. But uh, without the experience he obtained at my side, <laughs> he would never have become the great Professor Orloff. But uh, he was lacking something. He was afraid to operate on living flesh. Living flesh? You're shocked? You French uh, are strange people. You're very sentimental over trivial things. On the one hand, you protect the baby seals. On the, on the other, France, the country of human rights, has become the third largest arms dealer in the world, behind Russia and the United States. This industry of death earns your country the land of uh, refuge 4,000 billion dollars a year. How about something? A la vuelta. Really? Well, you operated on me a year ago. You can see the results out for yourself. Do you remember me, Doctor? So, you've lost your memory, too. I've got a surprise for you! Did you have that nightmare again, darling? It's horrible. It's just horrible. Every single night, I can see Ingrid that way. It is fate. It's all right, darling. Be calm. It's all over now. I'm not so sure. I 
can feel the police watching us. No, darling. The police will never suspect anything. The day we decided to apply your rejuvenation methods, we knew how dangerous it could be. Yes, I know. But I never thought that Ingrid could be a victim of them. Ingrid! Ingrid! She's all you ever think about! I'm doing everything I can to save her. I'm never afraid to go and capture the most beautiful girls. Come here. You got a little bit of a kick out of it, too. Maybe. But that's why you love me. We are so much alike. All of these analyses are perfect, but uh, totally useless. Useless? This information is essential for us to be able to make your grafts. But uh, when I operated in Dachau, I had already gone beyond this stage. Any donor will do, as long as the skin is uh, suitable, of course. I need only change the uh, hormonal component. You're amazing, doctor. And so different. I know my hands can still be for miracles, but uh, as nervous as a pianist's before a concert. I'm sure your hands are still magical. You're an exceptional woman, and a very beautiful one, too. I envy Dr. Flammer. I, uh, I would have liked to have known you before. Doctor. Make the incision as low as possible, for it's the only skin preserve available to us. I'm now going to detach the thermic mask, starting with the forehead. The flesh is, the flesh is too flexible. Oh my God. Compress, quick, 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 quick. Compress. Too much pain to thought. It's ruined. Operation is right. I'm sorry, Ingrid, but I promise we'll try again very soon.
your sister has had an emotional shock after this new failure. She will say it's my fault again. It's up to you to help her to get over it. You two seem uh, very close. Tell her the truth. Best thing you can do. It's the abuse of pentothal which is to be blamed. I should have thought of that. The donor's fear and panic are the best muscular stimulants. The faces remain stretched tight, which is an additional guarantee of success. When do you think you can operate again? The sooner the better. Your sister's in a very bad state. Any girl can do uh, if the skin is young and healthy. I'll go and find a girl. I'll come too. Champagne. Two champagnes, please. Look, isn't that Florence Guerra, the actress? Of course it is. Actresses are all the same. They do anything to get famous, and once they are, they wear dark glasses and nobody recognizes them. <laughs> Florence, come on over and sit with us. I wore such a snob last night. you in with a kick. Thank you, you're very kind. <laughs> May I buy you another drink? <laughs> Will I be forgiven if I ask you to dance? Do you mind? Go ahead. It's all yours. You hold this, darling. <laughs> Your wife is charming. That's why she's my wife. I never thought I would see you here. Oh, I hope you don't think I'm a regular. I'm with some friends. And it's only by chance that we're here tonight. We're not regulars either. Ah, too bad. I was beginning to get ideas. One should always stick to one's ideas. Even if they're outrageous. Do you believe in omens? Omens? I do. Our meeting is an omen. You're much, much more beautiful than in the movies. Even in the front row at the movies, you can't feel the warmth of the body or smell its perfume. I would like Natalie to smell your perfume and feel the warmth of your body. Why don't you invite her to dance? Raise a glass to someone To post a night I promise Let's make him suffer a bit. Let him wait. Not too long. Just long enough. Special. 
Great. <laughs> Natalie's gonna join us. Whatever you're mixing better be good. It's taking ages. I'll be right there. I'm preparing a nice cocktail. You remember this one? There is always a moment when you get stuck. And when you get stuck, what do you do? You come to the French police? No, 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 not here. But as you don't dare, come directly to see Detective Legree. You get your embassy to step in. Who calls the prefect? Who calls the commissioner? Who calls the superintendent? Who, need it be said, calls me to ask me to let you consult the Barbara Hallen file? And do you really think I am going to give it to you after all that? Well, you bet I am. I am going to give it to you because I am going to retire in one year. And I don't give a shit anymore. You've got two minutes to consult it, Sheriff. But I have never seen you before. I was violent this morning, Sylvia. You never said anything about a blonde that was with Barbara at the photo session. Listen, in Paris, there are at least two million blondes, not counting the bleached ones. <laughs> Since this morning, we've had a new headless woman on our hands. This time, you won't need to feel up the corpse to know it's not your client. She's been identified by means of a tattoo. A butterfly on her left thigh. Betty Mallard, a call girl, alias Melissa. Suspected as acting as dealer for her boyfriend, a certain Rashid. And she too was seen for the last time in the company of a blonde. You've got two extra minutes. That's my Christmas present. I can't take it anymore. Why? Why are you keeping me prisoner here? Listen to me, Barbara. I can help you to get out of here. <sighs> That's my credit card. Tell me the code, and I'll help you. I'll check it. If you're lying to me, you're gonna regret it. Give it to me. Give it to me, darling. Give got the skin of a model if Gordon hadn't blown it. They have one point in common. They have the same profession. They're paid to show themselves. They live by means of their body and their looks. And for money, they do anything. I'm so alone. I'm always alone. I need love, to be loved be touched, your nightmare will soon be over. I remember the night the three of us spent together. And now I repulse you. I mean it. I swear you're wrong. 
Ingrid, you don't have the right to talk that way. Prove to me that you're still my friend. Ask me anything. I need a man. A man? Fine. Leave it to me. It's easier for me to find a man than a woman. <laughs> With this face, I can't even imagine it. Don't worry about it. Take this. It will be easier. Keep your money. I don't need it. See you later tonight. Slow down, Gordon. For a girlfriend. Why doesn't she do the cruising? She wants to stay incognito. But you can't know where you're going. I'm going to blindfold you, but you can refuse. <laughs> I hope she's an heiress. And I hope your girlfriend is as beautiful as you are. You'd be surprised. Relax. Get undressed. You're gonna love it. Uh-uh, over there. Come closer. Take them off. Your skin is so soft. Why are you wearing a mask? I can't let myself be recognized. Hmm. Mysteries always excite me. But I'm even happier when I can see who I'm screwing. <laughs> Yeah.
coming right up, hon. You work here long? Too long, if you ask me. You know Melissa? Never set eyes on her before. People come and go here. You know you can't remember everyone's face. Okay. Now for the big money. You know Rashid? Rashid. Nope, doesn't mean a thing to me. Looking for me? Wrong answer. What do you want, man? I don't talk to cops without my lawyer, man. You're in luck. I'm not a cop. Then get lost. When I don't get answers, I break things. And where's Melissa? How should I know? She's my lady. I want her to come back. I'm looking for her, too. She's been gone over a week. That's all I know about it. Let go, little bit. Morgan, I got a new lead on Barbara from her bank. Apparently, she used a credit card from a little town called St. Cloud. Well, that's great. It means she's still alive. And also that your investigation will be a short one. You should find her within the next 24 hours. Look, I'll be gone for a couple of days. Any message, you leave it on the answering machine. Ciao. Yeah. Thanks, Terry. St. Cloud, Clinique Mimosa, Dr. Fleming. My name's Sam Morgan. I'd like to see Dr. Flamond. Do you have an appointment? It'll just take a minute. One of his patients have disappeared. Oh, I'll call him. Professor Tirelli, Dr. Flamand. Grazie. No smoking here. Can I help you? A woman named Barbara Hallen disappeared from a fashion show in Paris, and I'm trying to find her. I understand she spent some time here. Grazie. Barbara Hallen. I remember her. A very pretty girl. Yes, yeah, she was a former client here, but I haven't seen her since. You said she disappeared. Did you inform the police? Thanks, I've done that. And what did they say? I'm more interested in what you have to say. Come on. Come. Come to me. Come on. I want you. Oh, that's it. That's it. Since the first time you made love to me, you must have known how much I wanted you. 
Why didn't you come back? Huh? Why didn't you untie me? I want to caress you. I want to touch you. You must know how much I want you. Come on. That's it. You're not afraid of me, are you? You're not afraid. That's it. Oh, that's better. Do it quickly. I want you so bad. It's going to be so good. Oh. Barbara Helen has been here for five days, last fall. She had a nose surgery. She took too much cocaine. Barbara used her credit card yesterday in St. Cloud. I'm sorry, what does that mean? For old time's sake. Maybe she still has some drug problems. That might be it. If Barbara Helen has decided to go to a drug abuse center. Come on. Come on. Well, there are two or three centers for drug abuse. Very efficient and very discreet. <gasps> oh, you bastard! <laughs> Tie her up! Thanks for your time, Doctor. If Miss Helen's in one of the centers, it justifies her disappearance and the use of her credit card. Maybe. What about this woman? Has she been here? No, never seen. I don't have this kind of clients in my clinic. Can I do something to help you? Oh, Natalie. This is Natalie, my collaborator. Mr. Morgan is looking for a former patient, Barbara Hallam. But he's about to leave now. Have you used Barbara's credit card? Yes. What does it matter to you? So I offer myself little presents every now and then. If I don't steal, I'm bored. Have you gone out of your mind? Don't you understand that you're the head of the clinic? Why do you amuse yourself by taking stupid chances, playing a klepto? If you loved me a little more, I'd steal less.
It's an honor for her to serve science. In any case, old age would have only disfigured her. I speed up the course of time. I only help nature. Where am I? What? Don't try to move. And don't be afraid. But, but who are you? You don't feel anything, do you? No. Uh, but what are you doing? You're crazy. Uh, uh, Watch her carefully. She might well ruin the whole operation. Uh, 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 now stop screaming. Uh, Be quiet. Inject a paralyzing shot in the throat. Stop their screaming. Go and get your sister ready. Immediately. She'll accept the pain I know. It's for her own good. Everything is going to be fine, my darling sister. Dr. Moser is going to make you beautiful again. Don't leave me alone with him. He scares me. Calm down. I'm going to give you a shot. Look at how beautiful she's going to be.
Barbara and Sam have come to take you home. Sam! 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 Oh, God! Oh, my God. Sam! Okay, open the door. You're in enough trouble already. You help us, I'll talk to the police for you. You hear me? Open the door! Open the damn door right now! You dirty bitch! When I get out of here, I'll tear your heart out! Open the door! You hear me? Open this door! I'm talking to you! Where are you going? You come back here! Open this door! Open the damn door, you hear me? This time, I'm sure of success. We won an impossible battle against nature and destiny. Thank, Thank you, Doctor. As for us, we're not at the end of our troubles. There are too many corpses in this clinic. And there's Barbara and that American detective. I know it's troublesome. And uh, you no longer have Gordon to get rid of them. But uh, I have a solution. Not too difficult. What are we doing the war? When the Red Cross visited us, and certain army officers were a bit uh, too particular. What? What did you do? Scars have healed in 15 days. Your desire to get better has made all the difference. This is perfect. I feel like the father who sees his child for the very first time. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. You make me weep. Deep down, I'm a real sentimentalist. Three of you. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to work again. And to Ingrid's newly found beauty. Uh, and to our happiness. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Barbara to the Mimosa Clinic in St. Cloud. I'm going in tonight, covert, to locate and extract. You don't hear from me. <laughs> you don't hear from us in 12 hours. You send in the Marines. Bye-bye. Oh, Merry Christmas. vol pour Paris.
destination, no. 